Bacon? Bacon? Small bacon. All right. Hey, welcome to another edition of JTJU, where we all try to be just a little better at the game of Clash of Clans. I've got another Clash Cooler session for you. You can see the details of this specific episode right there. Uh, but for those who aren't informed, this is actually where we drill into the attack planning process with a live collaborative markup session on the base layout itself. So you can kind of see the different approaches that were considered and thrown out and how the ultimate approach was determined. Uh, if it was successful, we'll actually show you the successful attack before we show you the planning session. Uh, but if it was a fail, we will actually uh, post potentially a real Clash video afterwards uh, that kind of breaks down the attack in more detail, figuring out how the heck our plan went wrong. That said, on with the show. Okay, so here is the replay from our cooler session. Let's first take a look at the base. Anytime we show you a replay from a cooler session, it means that the uh, planning went well. It's going to be a three-star. If it didn't work out, we'll actually do a follow-up segment called Real Clash, where we actually look at why it failed and kind of talk about what we missed. But in this case, it worked out for Nicholas. Uh, the interesting thing about this base is that there's a lot of the defensive buildings on the outer rim and we're trying to get a plan in place and how to get effectively to the mid. So let's just watch to see how it flowed out and then we can look, if you want, continue on into the later part of the segment and see what happened. So he goes with the EQ in the mid there to give access to the center core. Uh, but here's the technique that's happening. If you notice the sniping of the uh, buildings on the 9 and 3 o'clock positions that allowed the golems to flow back uh, to the ultimate penetration point at 12, and then they're coming into the mid with the three go, uh, with the queen and king following, uh, and then up taking up residence there in the inside. Uh, and at this point, you know, we're really just kind of waiting. This is a patience phase of the three go slow, uh, slow being the uh, snipe loonian off the backside. We want to get the ads down, uh, or at least engage before we drop. And then uh, once we do, you'll start to see some of the loons come out. Uh, he waits a little bit. He could have gone a little earlier with the six to eight position there that arc but uh, you know coming out later he clearly is going to roll this base uh, did any loons die that's the beauty of a three go slow that uh, once all the air defenses are down and if they're all basically one hopped off the edge you can kind of take it to town but if you want to keep going let's take a look now at the cooler session that ended up with this plan and you can kind of see the different attack strategies that were considered tabled and then moved to this one On the perimeter, so either balloons or hogs, take them out, but what I'm thinking is, Tessas in theory should be inside the walls. Um, and I'm thinking one golem here, one there, and sniping, sniping that archer tower with two loons, two loons here. One hog, one hog, so my columns go that way, okay, and then I broke the, I broke the, this hog ring. Yeah. It is a unique base, I've never seen a spread hog ring like this. You got a, we got a, you got a potential double here and here right off the bat and there could yeah. be a, like a tesla and bomb here but it doesn't really pass right normally in my or in my experience they won't have it so close to the exterior you, you know don't think that you think they'll be more buried yeah, I think I think definitely inside somewhere. I mean, I can just put. Um, can we but just where's take the a look padding? Here? It's not there. I don't see any good padding. In here, you? no. In, in the in the core. So if you assume the Teslas are on the inside, there's no, there's, there's no good padding, right? Yeah, there's no good padding. But I would expect the Tesla to be here. And somewhere there, there, and 
And the, yeah. And perhaps the double giant bob is there. There. So you, this, th yeah. this almost works. But it's dumb to put it right next to you, queen, for sure. The deep yeah, deep. that's gonna get diffused. Yeah, I mean, you gotta go after the queen, so putting the double giant bomb next to the queen, or even putting both of them in the same compartment with the queen, if that's where they are, is really so lame. Your question is, is Team Korea dumb? <laughs> yeah. Number 12, with the double zeros. <laughs> but I mean, you could, um, you can easily surgical these, these spots anyway, just to de-risk it. Um, you could, but you need quite a high investment. I mean, they accounted earlier, I think it was 16 point defenses. So you need like, how many is that? 32 loons. If you just can, you know, just double dropping everything. No, I, I mean, you could you could almost do like a, a, like a reverse pincers kind of thing where you dropped hogs and just let them, let them go to get here in the ring. And then when they're about here, you know, you drop on the archer tower, and then these hogs will, should should go in, right? Yeah. Well, that's that's sort of what I'm what I'm trying to do. Yeah. If it, hey, yeah. If you've loon sniped this already, that's good. Now, so you're done marking this one up. I want to throw a different. Are you, are you, still, still, are you still... still talking about this? specific style of attack so like more of a surgical no hog. no 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 i wasn't doing surgical hog i was uh, let, let me just explain quickly um so my golem's gonna go in this way and yep. then i'm and then once and then hopefully you see i'm taking a hog on that one and there and then hopefully one of those two hogs will trigger the cc and uh -huh. they're coming this way the cc Right. Like that. Who was my kill squad? And I'm going to wall break here. And jump. Jump there. And then send in eight or seven Valkyries with my Bob King. Okay, you had me as Valkyrie. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead. So essentially, we are going. We're going to try and get all of this. That's what I'm, in, or what I'm trying to do. Um, and I'm going to have a what, mage. What, what gets a these? Rage. Excuse me? This queen, okay. I would assume. No, no. An another, another jump spell right there. Okay. So I'm going to have two jumps. I'm going to have a rage and a heal. Heal for this for the core. And a rage... For the queen and the king. And then I'll have 14 loons for all of this. Yeah. Yeah, Sorry. so I, I agree with the basic concept of you know, taking and holding the middle and basically you know, sniping you know, snipe action on the edge because it's so spread. The defense yeah. are so spread from the mid. But I would wonder, even though I love Valks, um, I would go more, if I saw this, I'd think more like three go. And be like, hey, three down to the mid with like go backing. So like wizards with their king queen. queen. And then just hold the mid. And then basically, you, they're so far off the edge. Let me look at the ranges. I mean, you could start sniping that head stuff way early. Yeah, definitely. So, so I would. I mean, why? What, what made you say Valks? You, ca you, why, you can't. You okay. can't snipe the because of this this air defense. But yeah, right. um, I was just thinking. Clean up crew, the clean up crew as well, and they get they just kill heroes so quickly. You like, like that? that? Yeah, definitely. Mm -hmm. Let me throw out. Um, since you're you got a high level of comfort with it. And the base seems susceptible to it. Why aren't you looking at an earthquake here? Wait. Or break here. Or at or at ten. And then you order. and then you have three ads and the queen. Where? Oh. Where did the Where? yellow? 
The only thing with that yellow is it leaves two air defenses in compartments. Yeah, but, you know... <laughs> okay. All right, buy it. Yeah, so this one, if you can just get over the wall break part, you got three open ADs and the queen. Uh, that's that why I like true, that. but then you have to break the... You have to break the... The augering some way. So, you, so probably, yeah, and yeah. So if your golems were, like, he... Here, here. Do you not think that with a small investment of hogs you could get the ring broken? Yeah. I mean that's just a that's an attack that, you know, if you can get in to and you can take this bit out. Um Yeah, I think I can do the same with the with the with the jump right there. Yeah, yeah I, jump uh, I kind of agree. Yeah, nothing there is too deep. And that gives you an extra spell. That was the, that's the first thing I saw when I looked at the base. If you could get in, this this point is it it's a, it opens up a lot of this base becomes very vulnerable to air because look at all the air intense Dude, defenses. Just, all the things I just X have open flight to the attack point and in the attack point for loon. Yeah. So basically, basically everything off the back side of what Colonel talked about is an attack vector. You, you could be doing that. And then and the other thing is they're not even shooting into the mid. This is this base. Is like, I don't know what they're thinking they're defending against, but I would assume that like, if you get in the mid and you've got snipe action off the back, you're going to roll. You, I don't know how they hold you off. Yeah. I know, even these air sweepers are, are pointing the op opposite way. Yeah, so I mean it looks really vulnerable in that to that kind of attack to me. Okay, so, so Colonel, how would you break the, the ring? I, I would probably uh I mean I think that if you have a golem golem you're going to have distract on these cannons. And then I think that two hogs breaks breaks the ring. So you take four hogs and you just go two on each cannon. And it's going to draw the archer tower's fire. That should be it. This one will take the... Be that, fine. Yeah, the expo will be on the golem, I think. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. So everything else will be on the golem. The only thing that you will, will, will have to watch for is... I think you're gonna. I think your golems are gonna go faster than you think. So you know, the sooner you can get your um, all these troops deployed, get the ring, uh, get the funnel shaped, and get in and start working your way in. I think you know that's gonna. You won't want to be. You, you have to be patient enough, but you won't want to be too patient uh, because I think that you know these. There's so much. There is a lot of DPS in the ring out uh, out here, but. And you got one expo. I don't know. I think I, I think that's a good plan. It makes sense to me. Uh, I think the base has left you a lot in that respect. What if he has quad Teslas in the core? You're still good. Well, you're bringing uh, in in if you're doing this attack the way you, we would normally do it, right? You'd have the rage. You'd have the uh, rage heal anyway for the heroes, right? In the mid. Yeah. Yeah. And I think that really helps them power through. You might get all four air defenses, Nick. Yeah, that's what I'm scared of. <laughs> I think I think your bigger risk is if they've test they've stacked their Teslas towards the backside to where you're trying to snipe. Mm -hmm. And then your base. So if they're if the that's Teslas are here, that's, a, that's, that's the, probably the only way, way I can see you getting get pressured. Otherwise, your team gets into mid. It's under heal rage. Explosions happen. Things are dying. And meanwhile, you can as soon as you start that you lay you do wall breaker here, and then you're jumping here. The, as soon as you get that team moving in this direction, you start the snipe at them because they're all out of range. Okay. Yeah. I mean, if you're worried about this, this would be the last AD to go down. So you would be maybe do the seven and nine arc and this arc, and then this do this one last. Yeah, I agree. Um, I'm thinking about not bringing in any hounds and just going for all, for all four air defenses. Yeah, 
Well, then, yeah, if I, if I were going to do that, I would probably bring um, an extra rage, and I would I would either I would ah oh, man I don't know well, I would, you can take two A's. Well, yeah, but I mean, I, what I would want is the option to throw that throw down a second rage on the kill squad so they clutch the last AD if it becomes close. You know. And then if they don't, the thing you want, the thing you want for that last AD probably isn't a second rage. You just want the jump, maybe a second, second jump. jump to get access. You get the expo I'm, and the AD. Because you got, if you go with three go, you're I'm gonna, gonna go with three golems. I think. I think I'll go. Then you have golems. a lot of thump going. If you on. go with three golems, I don't think you're gonna have an issue with th with that AD. Actually, I think you'll have plenty of tank. Yeah, and then then the jump gives you those golems. <laughs> well, the only thing is, all right, look you in. Like the jump? No, I do. It's not that. I'm just I'm backtracking a little further. So, like, if you look at, like, this gold store, this gold store, you know, I'm a little bit afraid that the queen gets over here and feels like she has to take down all this stuff. And she winds up stuck off in one of these compartments when the jump expires, you know? So... Oh, that's quick. So, but but the thing about taking two jumps is, you can you, if that happens, you can re-jump here. If it doesn't happen, you can shift it here. You know, yeah, it gives you a little bit of an option. But but yeah, earthquakes the other. I mean, earth. The good thing about the earthquake is it's simpler. It's a fire and forget thing. You can focus on your attack. Um, I love it, man. Yeah, <laughs> I the love jump. The earthquake. Yeah, the jump thing, you know, you, you can accomplish the same thing, and it may give you an opportunity if the queen doesn't get stuck. It may give you an opportunity to jump some more troops in here. But honestly, I don't know. I think the queen's going to be out here screwing around when the barb king is, and everybody else is in here. Queen always lags behind and deals with the flanks. And so I think what worries me is that you'd have to make the decision on whether to jump here while, the queen, while you weren't sure what the status of the queen was yet. Well, you see, I have the option of this, okay? Um, if I'm going to do the three goes, something like that, and I'm going to snipe, I'm probably just going to snipe this, these two archer towers, and those with two hogs, <clears throat> and, and four to six wizards, yeah, okay? Mm -hmm. uh, they were all final towards... These, these, uh, these two, uh, this mortar and this cannon, and then they'll go down out of the range of the queen, I think. But I have the option of when to drop this, this, this jump. Queen's range and gonna come out about it, here, I think. I, I yeah, can do it when my mark. queen. I can do it when my queen is here. She will definitely go for one of these gold storages. Yeah. But afterwards. I think it's we should spend more time in. worrying about the cuts. Because this base is built to redirect your golem flanks so they won't go to the wrong side. I think yeah, you I'm, you I'm gotta do stuff like this. You got you just gotta go golem, golem, snipe, snipe, whiz, whiz, you know, whiz, whiz. And once these go down, if you leave these up if if that's down and that's down oh my god my kids just had a damn emergency close the door please i'll be back guys hang on yeah cool are you still there yeah i'm still here look look though on um i think i'm going to do think this. you need to have your golem here I don't know what, if Where? that's what Colonel was saying. One here, because you can't. Then that gives you free distract on that archer tower. And then they may, they may roll. This one will for sure. I don't know about this one. This one's the question. But those, that's where I would put the golems. I'd put them on the cannon. Yeah, and you get a point. We want them, and then you want to while they're, and don't really give them backers. And then you do your loon snipe here, which eliminates them potentially swinging the wrong way. So by the time, uh. so when this is down, 
then the golems will for sure you'll get the swing back which is what you want you want them to flow like this and then you got your single golem coming in from the top and then you have to be very break. quick. Uh, it's 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 actually quite a lot of DPS. Yeah. But yeah, I agree. I'm gonna do that. Yeah, because I think otherwise, I think this that now that I've looked at it a while, the the thing, the only thing I worry about with this base is the penetration. Getting your meat shield to actually flow to the middle on this base is probably harder than any other base because look at the only things they got that are drawing is down here. This is the only draws to the middle defensively. So they have this huge ring. And so for Massive. you to actually, for a guy to, for a, a golem that's sitting right here to dive and take it, look at the length that that has. Like, so now draw a similar line length. You basically can't have anything past here for him to pick it up. It's all got to be down before, or those golems are going to roll. So what that's happens if there's a Tesla, yeah? Even worse. <laughs> Sorry, we had a we had a wasp sting, so. Oh, yeah. Sound like, yeah, and if there was a Tesla, yeah, Nick, to your point, if there's a Tesla here, or even worse, like here, <laughs> if there were Teslas on the edge, I just I just think, I'm more worried about this base in terms of if you once you get your golems into the mid with your royals, if you can pull that off, the base is done. I think this base is all built on. It's keeping you from the mid. Yes. But if you get to the mid, it's over. He has nothing. He can't do anything about it because his outer defenses are too far out. They can't really shoot the mid unless you're right on the edge of the wall, and your outer defenses have no cover. So okay. I would spend a lot of time thinking about your cuts in the golem flow. Why, 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 why did we go away from sniping these buildings again? Or these two again? Which ones? The cannons. Because to me, because if you've got to walk your golem from here to here to here, to, th this this is going to, I mean, you're going to have like golemites walking in here, I think. Yeah, but, well, here's what, but here's my concern. And, and maybe there's a different way to solve the concern. The concern is if I go golem, 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 and they're wandering and I kill you off from this one, the, these guys are getting sniped as they're trying to take out the cannon. It's not an easy snipe, really. It's a costly snipe. The, the other thing I'm worried about is so they get here, so the golems are now here, let's say, and we're making, making our, our penetration, penetration move. I'm, I'm not, not sure if this path is shorter than this path. Well, here's what I think. Here's why I think now. Uh, you, you're right. Here's what I think has to happen: is um, this earthquake? This has to be earthquaked. It has to be wide open. Yeah. yeah. And then, it does and seem then to, you don't, does seem to you don't want wake openings more. You don't want Wiz or anything to take these down. You want the golems and the Wiz to work their way in. Because if they're here and that's open or that's open, I think that it's going to be, they're going to come and do this kind of thing rather than walk, you know, all the way back around here. That is a fair point. I mean, you know, I kind of was planning in the beginning, and I, you forget that he, mark. you forget that he's left this entire compartment void of defense. We think if there's a Tesla in there, that's actually great. That's perfect. Mm. Yeah, I would be. I would doubt it though. I mean, his whole base design is is this ring. Why would he? Why would he give it up? I mean, you might even have uh, like a Tesla here, Tesla there, in the corner <laughs> somewhere. Is there a better? Is there an easier vector to come in at? So we went to the vector from twelve because we got two ads. If you went back to this eq, granted, it makes it gives you more difficult ads on the back. Hang on, let me ask you this: an easier cut. What do we have I'm gonna here? Get all four, I'm going to get all four a defenses anyway. Wherever I come from, that's my aim. Yep. The only difference between the 9 o'clock vector and 12 is there's one more AD behind a wall. Look, guys, that's 7. You can get this also, I think, with EQ, which also gets you three compartments. What are you drawing on? Yeah. 
You can. I see a green. I see green S. <laughs> what? <laughs> That's a seven. So like this is. <laughs> That's yeah. one, two, three. That's four, seven tiles. Five, six, oh, oh, okay. Seven, yeah. So, wh so why is that two, important to me? Because you're saying that's a radius. You can get er earthquake. You earthquake. You can get eight. So you could potentially get this with the earthquake. Oh, I see what you're saying. Oh, that's better. Yeah. Yeah, that is better. And then I can go. Okay, with my you get a gold star. <laughs> you found the location. Yes. Gold star for me. Gold and star. even if you miss it, even if you miss that upper box with the AD and the Expo, it's not the end of the world. But the cut's a hell of a lot easier. It's a flat surface. Yeah, way better. I would much rather come from 430. Mm -hmm. But that's quite deep now, eh? Yeah, yeah. yeah. But yes and no, but, but also... There's no, but there's no DPS in here. And I don't think that they're... Let's take a look at the range for these units off this arc. So these guys are they really pummeling? Are they pummeling your uh, team? Uh, not, not till they really get into the you know maybe like a little bit of overlap back in these corners with the archer towers like or something. This guy's not. This guy can't yeah. even reach the mid. Yeah. So working this guy. This, this guy, guy only can read. reach this corner. This, this guy can't reach. So then you can bounce back to your original plan. I would hold. This guy can. I would hold that golem. This guy can't. That th really, there's no risk. Yeah, I would hold that third golem till you've wall broken, and then let him go in fresh. And I think. Third one. Yeah. Yeah, because you are broadsiding the expos from. That's the down. There's the downside. Yeah. But I mean, you'll have your you'll have a rage in here. What have these guys had in the clan castle? Or her, her? Is anybody attacked yet? No, he's attacked. Yeah. <clears throat> this one was twenty five, twenty five um, housing space. When I looked this afternoon. So there's no hound. No, there's not. Twenty five. It's probably That's a, a Pekka. Probably, or a dragon loon. Yeah. What dragon? Yeah, depending on if they're doing like you know, not, they don't always. First fill, you know, somebody might have thrown a dragon and someone might have gone through and put an odd loon. Okay. But yeah, you, if it's a P.E.K.K.A., you got to be careful about that, yeah. Because they'll, they'll really, you know, give your, hero, yeah. give your heroes troubles, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, no, no, definitely. And they've encountered a P.E.K.K.A. It's a, it can be a problem for your heroes. If they're alone. But if you, if you've got Two to three golems that are coming in. I think the Pekka so th will bang. This is on what I want to do. Sorry, guys. That red line <laughs> just disappeared. Look good. I like. I already it. You'll have <laughs> all this. That's what I'm taking out. I think it's less certain that you get. I think you're wading into a little heavier fire in the beginning. I don't know if you'll necessarily get that air defense, but hopefully you will. So maybe I should bring one one hound with. Just think that is a typically uh, a ball. Yeah, and I, I would be more comfortable going into this with a hound. I don't think it. You know, I think the hound will do its work, and the pups are great for cleanup, and you should have all the stuff down that's going to kill the pups. And uh, I don't see it. To me, it it's like it'd be a nice insurance policy. You know, if you can see all the other air defenses are going down, and everyone's and everyone's running over towards that air defense, and you're going to clean it up anyway, then you can launch the hound early and let him at least take some some you know heavy fire. He's probably going to grab a, a a seeking air mine anyway on the way in, and uh, you know I think he'll pop if that's you. That's sure. actually a good point. We're gonna have some seeking a mines and some normal a mines. Yeah, some road. bombs. Yeah, we're definitely gonna have them. Yeah. Yeah. So if you if you have a hound fly in, you know something like this or something like that, um, you know, I think you can clear some of that out and you get you get yeah, you I'll save save your loons. Out. Yeah. Yeah. But I would I would question why because if the backside defenses are not pressuring your troops in mid. 
they have that that gives them it means they have if they can get past the expos which is not what the hound's helping with see you later jesus so then so but then, then but, but I would say, say like, like you know what's it get you it's not really it's not protecting you from anything's pushing your core team you know the expos are the threat to the core team and maybe some tests yeah i mean the 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 issue is so all right if you're earthquaking you know that out right and that out is you know do this do, does do they wind up over here and they clutch this and but you know the cannons in range and you know it's yeah, I mean, there, there are some a few scenarios. This cannon's going to be able to shoot into this compartment, right? And they're going to be able to go in and wade in, and then they're going to stop, and they're going to want to shoot all this stuff. Your queen is, for instance. She's the one you're counting on to get to that air defense. She may get it, but she could get stuck off in one of these little nooks. And if she does, and she, there she's going to get hit from the edge. And uh, if she does, then you have the hound as an insurance policy. See what I'm saying? Okay. Because if they're in the core, they don't, they're not going to take fire, but she's going to have to wade up, up into alleys as well, you know, or somebody is. And there's a lot of... So she's going to move forward at a glacial speed. Yeah, because there's a lot out here to shoot at, right? So she's not going to be around. He's definitely going to go into this channel, though. He's going into this channel. Right. Well, one golem is for sure. I think your golems will wind up out here. But that's fine because there's not that much. This this area is pretty low pressure. You know, if your golems are taking fire in here, that's fine. I just don't know if you'll get this. I mean, I think it's like 50-50 that you will. And if you don't, don't if you don't having the hound is great. Yeah. Also, I don't know because you know you have to get past this town hall. You have to get the the CC down. I mean they. Now I'm getting more. See, now the more we talk about this 4:30, the more I'm getting uh, like 12 o'clock better. <laughs> <laughs> I just feel like there's less pressure from 12. I mean, it's a more complicated cut. When is the war? The when does the when going. does the war start? Uh, nine. You want Central. you want me to do like a bacon scout on this first? No, no, no. I don't. I don't mind. Seriously. Um. I th I think it's it's actually much more fun without any scouting. Okay. I mean, like you're planning. There's the whole reason why you're planning. You know, it's mm -hmm. so you you don't have perfect information. But I I, I do agree with Rai. I think this this is safer. The twelve. Yeah, it's it, feel, safer. it just feels better. I feel like there's, I feel for some reason I have a gut feeling if we come from four thirty, we might not make it through. There's one. There's just one liability with twelve I don't like, and that is that there's nothing in here to draw your KHC in with like yeah. how well, do you that's what I mean how it's do you how do you bridge the gap between your breach in, in and the other thing is you're not going to be able to wall break here why not because wall breaker AI won't go there wall breaker AI is going to go here or here but not here and this is the Tesla there right if there's a Tesla it will yeah So what wall breaker AI is going to do is when you drop it, say you drop it here, it's going to say, where's the nearest building that's inside of a closed compartment? And it's going to run to an adjacent wall and try to detonate there. And if you drop here, it's you've seen this happen. One could go, I think this is closest. And the very next one go, no, it's over here. <laughs> you know, you wind up with like the, the um, I'm with you know. You. So, I mean, you almost want to, like, wall break twice, you know, which, of course, sort of uh, makes it more complicated from a... No, well, I'm, not gonna, I'm definitely not going to do that. What if we shift the vector just slightly off of 12 to Colonel's point about where he thinks the wall break will happen? I'm trying to clear Mark. Hold on. Well, look, this... this... I'm gonna do. Oh, Here's so the golem. What if the golem shifted here, here, and here? Because this golem will actually that will go that way. Once it's done, that's closer. closer. And then this golem's fighting to get your clearance is off with his action. And then to, go, to Colonel's point, if I drop a wall breaker here, once it's engaged. 
there's no pressure to stop it, really. So then I break in here, and that actually, actually gives, gives us the draw. This line, this line's line close. close. And then I miss. There's another, just I'll throw this out there, right? So this is a natural break. Could you could you get enough out of queen walking around here to make it worth it? Hmm. <laughs> I, I saw the queen walk earlier. I was thinking with with uh, my entry point that I told you about earlier. Yeah. Box, and my queen just walking all the way that way. Um, but I didn't like skip. Uh, because if there are Teslas yeah and yeah I'm screwed. If there are just two Teslas together, I'm screwed. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because that's a lot. Yeah. Yeah. I'm, li I'm liking this the yellow. yellow. Tell me why that. Is. Yeah, I'm not seeing all the, all your marks. It, when it refreshed, you were started. You'd already started drawing, and mine popped up uh, late. I'm Can, gonna clear mark. Yeah, and then let's do it again. Let, let's just all clear mark. Okay, so now I'm gonna draw. Look, I still see all the yellow. Let me hang yeah. on. Look. I don't control any... control Z. Yeah, all the names. Just give it a second so that I can refresh my screen and it'll. Yeah. yeah. All right, I'm clear now. Right. Okay, so yeah. here, so I'm saying that you post one here, one here for this group, and then the key is that this guy has a natural flow this way because of the break Colonel was talking about. So that gives you, and you and you slow play it. You don't break in early. You do your heavy cut action with this, not to the side, side but over this side. And what you're wanting to have happen is at least these two golems end up diving right here. And you could even make it easier. You could then earthquake. Oh no, forget about that. Well, how, anyways, how you, does how do you get this golem to come this way? You don't. Yeah, it's gone. But that's okay, because well, this guy is then tied up on this. Well, then why are you putting a golem over here? You could take care of these with a group of hogs or something to me. Oh, just do quick and dirty. Or just, just, or just two loons. Yeah, two loons. Yeah. No, I agree. Yeah, because there's no cover. Yeah. And that's a better idea. So, yeah, so then you could shift that golem and here. Then you just attack in from here. You've already earthquaked. And then you go. Because the the thing that's going to draw you is then we can focus on this is the this is the most compressed part of his ring. Yeah, well if that if the earthquake's already down, this will draw everybody in, especially if they're coming through here. Yeah. And then it could be just a jump. Even let's keep it even simpler. Then it's a jump, and a jump. Well, it's just you can eat because there's not a lot wall. there to slow a queen down. Well, you can you can eq. Really wanted to. That whole thing? But you missed this yeah, part. But I don't get the expo. Yeah, you missed this part. I was trying to jump to the expo, but. And that may not work out. I mean, I. But either way, I think that at least that solves the question of how do you cut in without getting. feeling uncomfortable. I'm pretty sure those three golems and then some loons, like Colonel said, at 1 o'clock to take out the cannon and the archer because they aren't covered. So, what are we doing about. That expo. Well, you're charging at it. I think you're gonna. I still think you gotta earthquake this. Where? Where? Right there in the middle. Yeah, and then your wall breakers get dropped here. They will go here. Yeah. And that's simple. Um, you know, you could. You don't. I don't know if you even need to drop a golem quite this far out. I think you can go, drop a golem on this cannon and some whiz out here that will come and hit that. So here's you know. my question. How would, how would this change if there was a Tesla here? Sorry, Where? do you think there's a Tesla right there? Well, the Tesla will light up once that golem, the golem here comes in on that whiz tower. It'll light up and it'll be locked to the whiz. The, that'll be a Tesla whiz tower shooting. So is my golem going there, or is it going to go there? I think if it goes on the worst tower, the Tesla won't pop. If it goes on to the small third, it will pop. 
Yeah, it doesn't. I don't. So, Six. I mean, if you knew there was a Tesla there, I think we would just go with the original attack plan. All right. Which would be a scout. But you want to play it by ear, so then you're, then it's more of like, well, let's just. Worst case, you 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 go with the plan is drawn, and then if the Tesla comes up, it's going to pop when you drop the golem. Look, if you drop a golem, if you drop a golem here, and a Tesla pops here, you're done too, you know, or here. <laughs> yeah. So I mean, it's like that the Tesla mystery. You, you but you can't plan for the troll Tesla. You know, you just got to say where would it make sense to put it and plan that way, and if it. If he did something dumb yeah, with his Teslas, yeah, yeah. it's just easy I mean, clean. Honestly, it just it just makes sense like that. For me, it makes sense there. Yeah, and people love symmetry with Teslas. Um, oh, you think that's where the Teslas are? Yeah. That wouldn't surprise me at all. Um. But the Golem will still do this pathing if it's inside the wall. It's still going to go this way. Yeah, if you let the golem go on that corner, it'll still walk to the cannon. And then you drop, as soon as he starts his walk to the cannon, you do second golem on the cannon. They walk to the whiz tower. Third golem on the mortar. You've got loons going in here. Once all this is done, your wall breakers are coming here. The problem is that Tesla. But these loons will have pathed in on it if it's so, if it's if it pops. I mean, I think these. I think these loons will actually. It may not so be what you. No, they won't. No, but four again, loons will take a Tesla. Expo. No, I'm saying to the ads. But they would make it, maybe. Four loons there. Mm, the expo might take that. Make may make it difficult for the loons, but I still yeah, think you. What you'll... if they have air mines or was seeking air mines? Mm hmm I don't think he has them seeking air mines out there. That wouldn't make sense to me. I mean, you never know, but. Most people put them by the air defense or yeah, the queen. But but for a base like this, I would put it, you know, on the perimeter. Oh, that's just me. Yeah, I would always keep. So you, so you would put it somewhere in that red circle. Yeah. I would always yes. somewhere on the circle. <laughs> <laughs> on, not in. Yeah. Uh, I wouldn't put the Sams there. I would always keep them on the air defense or by the queen. I think. <laughs> I would put the red bombs out there for sure. Um, yeah. But anyway, I like I like Colonel's uh, reinforced play off the golems, where you start with one golem on the archer tower, then it rolls and you reinforce the cannon, reinforces the whiz. While they're hitting the whiz tower, you're you're mm. doing your cut action at one, then you're diving in. At that point, you know if the Tesla's there or not. And the Tesla's, Tesla's very, very distracted at that point. There's at least two golems remaining. Let's look at this real quick. All right, two loons fly in, and say two I loons. Probably, I would probably aim it at this archer tower, and then it goes that way. You'd come go back, okay? Because you're getting two defenses for for two two loons. They put, they put you in the, the expo range, range earlier. Yeah, I was gonna say if you did that, I would drop three and keep a pocket loon for the cannon in case. Um, in case, for instance, what if there's a Tesla there? Well, I think yeah, it'd still go, man, I don't know, it's like 50-50. Or drop a giant in three loons so that the giant sucks up the export. Oh, that's not a bad idea. Yeah. Yeah, giant and giant three loons, yeah. And if those... Or a Valk, because a Valk would actually park up between the Archer Tower and the army camp there and do a cut for you basically it would be there spinning and then your loons come in and and could probably with their death drop would probably finish off the camp and establish your cut um I'm, i think kind of actually have more health than the giant yeah 11 uh, 1100 or a thousand yeah the um whatever you do i think there are a lot of ways you can do that but i would Try to get those. Either way, you got to get the cut. Get so to me, box. to me, if you can get these taken out for 20 camp space, that's not a bad value, and they probably will come on the Tesla if it's there. Some of them will anyway. Um, and so then that leaves the risk open that there's nothing in this compartment to draw them in. But if you're going to wall break here, and you've already earthquaked here, it doesn't matter because it's a, it's an easy path to the 
air defense that'll draw them. I think that's the lowest risk way to approach it I can see. What do you think, Nick? Yeah, um, okay, let me, let me, can we just clear everything? Yep, clearing the markup. Refreshing the screen. I'm clear. Cool, so that's what I'm thinking. Rise original plan. So, what's going on here? The golem in there, golem in there. And my third golem. There. And then I snipe. That one. First. Second. Third. Sniping them? Yeah, I'm sniping. With one what? and two, I'm sniping with loons. Three and four, I'm sniping with one hog each. And then. One. One golem will go there, and then both my, my both two golems will be here. Okay. Yeah. And in, and in theory, there'll be one hog going this way, and the the first hog that's busted out here will be dead already. Um, and then if I will break it, so let's say worst case scenario, it'll be either there or there, right? Yeah. Yeah. All three columns are going to be somewhere here. They're, they're all going to be there. As long as your one, two snipes go down, I'll buy that. So for me, all three columns are, are there, and then I wall break, I mean, and then I EQ. I would have that EQ down already, so that First. when those when those golems see the wall open, they already can have that pathing available. Yeah, okay. And, then and these are your I'll two. Have... These are your two wall breaker tiles right here in the green squares. Depending which side you want to break in. Yeah, I'll probably go away from this expo. So on this side. On which side? On the left hand side. Yeah. Left of twelve. Just here. Like eleven thirty. Oh, I'm watching Rise markup, and I'm thinking you're doing it. I'm following the yellow. I'm like, is he talking? He's over at 2.30. Right. Yeah, I'm, just, I'm just adding. Noise. I got it. I got it. I got it. Okay. Yeah. There. Yeah, I got it. I got it. Okay, cool. So, as as the, way, I think, the snipes are the key there. So as long as your snipes go down, then the golem will happen. And you're good again. again. Because there's nothing d defensively you've been eliminated. Yeah. Everything that's not internal from here. I mean, it's hell. It's even further down. Which is good. good. You won't. It'll die. Yeah. I think worst case scenario is the Tesla's here. Tesla here. No Tesla there. That's that's like the worst case scenario. Actually, Tesla's here aren't, uh, won't make a difference because my golems are going to start there. They're you know, just in front of them. By those cannons. Uh, I don't really see that being that big of an issue. I mean, either either they get down early or your queen's going to get them when she gets in here and starts screwing around. Hmm. And then... I will probably start my wizards on this side so that if the wall breaker you know does aim for a wall yeah the golems are going to go this direction quicker and then they're diving okay so I'll, those I'll have a rage here you gotta have the lot yeah So the other okay. concern is you have to make sure you've got good DPS behind the golems as they enter because so they're, they're going to hightail it all the way down to somewhere in here. Mm -hmm. And your your DPS team will be hanging out right here. 
Yeah, that rage in here is really going to help. Now the good news is they'll post up. They're going to post up on the AD. And that's where your golems will end up. But that's cool. They're, 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 close, they're, but, but they're, they don't have to go deeper because there's no there's no layer no, of defenses no, in here to worry about. I'm just yeah. talking about the gapping. Yeah. There's a gapping that happens between the team that'll save the golems from what's shooting them. The t that team's going to lag out and be in here for a while. If there were a layer of defenses where this green line is, it would be a problem for the golems to hang back on the, these defenses. But because he's left this gap here... Oh, there's nothing really pressuring. There's nothing really pressuring them, so I don't see... This, I think it's, it's, it's going to be low volume. Yeah, okay, I'll buy that. this expo is going to be targeting somebody back here, so... Okay. I think the golems, yeah, if the golems, even if they hang back, it's fine. Yeah. Okay. So how, right. how I feel good about the cut. The golems will, will get? Pardon me? How far do you think the golems will get into the base? I think you'll have golemites in the end, maybe on the sweeper over here, and maybe one will walk down to the mortar. I think you'll lose the golems in these pockets. Um, but, you know, I think that the important thing is the rest of your troops will come in and get some of this down. I don't know about that again. I'd st I'd still would take one hound at least. You know, I mean, there's a lot of in this. This is kind of like a modified max attack. You know, there's plenty of offense in the max, and you know, you're gonna maybe swap a golem for a hound here. You still have room for one hound. And like I said, if it looked like my kill squad is getting in deeper than I thought, I would just start this part earlier, so that, that turns into pups. It's gonna help with your cleanup. Um, it's gonna clear some, you know, wherever you would send it from, maybe over here to clear traps. And, uh, you know, you still got, what do you have, 18 loons in that scenario? If you drop down to 14, there's still plenty to, considering you can, you can go like 2, 1, you know, 2, 2, 2. I mean, you can, you can be pretty deliberate with these cannons and not put any extra loons on the cannons. So that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So that's 14 loons down right there. And that's pretty good. Remember, we're planning for Tesla Zero as well, right? Yeah, but with so many loons, I don't think it'll be an issue. I mean, an isolated Tesla with five loons flying in on it, it's done. I'm going to add an extra loon on the flanks. So that's mm -hmm. 16 loons. Mm -hmm. And then you got these spots up here. So you got three extra loons and two extra hogs. Shucks. No, that's right, because the normal max has 18 loons in it, right? Yes, yeah, 18 loons, 2 hounds. Yeah, so you're going with um, 16, or what is it, 17, 15 loons, or 16 loons, 2 hogs, is something like that. 3 golems, 1 hound, so it's close. Have you included the, the 2 loons? Yeah. 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 That's cool. So you have you have 14, 15, 16, and then the hogs are makes like 17 and 18 in the normal loon build, and then you're just swapping a golem uh, for a hound. You know, that gives you room for eight whiz. You haven't even mentioned you're taking eight whiz, but eight whiz. <laughs> yeah, eight, I'm, I'm taking eight whiz. Eight whiz will help you blast through this quick, so I think it's a good idea. Oh, that sounds great. What do you think, Kai? I like it. Yeah. I like it. And then you're, and you're winning me over. I'm, the only thing that I'm not comfortable with, but I don't, because I don't do it, is the use of the sound. But in terms of the way the base is structured, because those wish towers are out of range, with a puff explosion, it's basically like you're getting a spot to play a golem. You can basically late attack, attack, you can, attack, you can drop, drop the hound, it comes in, steps up the XO, gives your time, your time, your your team team time to get to it. Importantly also, it, it, it it's an insurance yeah. policy for one of your loon flanks because it gets traps out of the way. And, and that. Uh, yeah. But it's, it's a nice, nice way, way of getting, getting the golem right where you need it when you want it. it. Mm -hmm. so like as, a, as, as your as your kill team, team is, is, kill squad is moving into like the CC area. CC area. Send that hound in. Send that hound in. Basically, like, Basically, like, down no, down. You, but you don't want that hound uh, in while this AD is still up, though. Okay, well, a little later then. Or he'll be, yeah, to, he'll die really quickly. Yeah. So now I'm less upset. <laughs> <laughs> but I like, you know, the cut and everything else I, I like. And 
You know, they think the hound debate with another golem is, is small. Well, you you were taking four golems. I think you're way over tanking. No, I would have. I would have. I was pondering like using Valks instead because oh. they would blow through that side by side with the CC in the, the town. town hall. But then the flip side, it. yes, they would. <laughs> they would get risk. Um, there could be a lot of bombs in that mid. The other thing about Valks is like when you do a drive through the middle with Valks, you really you'd really have to. So it would have to be an earthquake and two heals because you just don't get the value out of Valks if they're not healed. They're a little bit like hogs, I think, in that respect. They're tanky, yeah. they're tanky, but they just seem to die outside of a heal in pretty short order. So you know, I think that if you want to have some spells for your loon deployment, because this is big, this is like a big space in here. Yeah, you, you that's know, why, that's why I said the, don't like it. Having the haste in here, spring, yeah, yeah. Spring and bomb risk. That's why I would say no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I, th I think. So I'm, again, I'm, it's just because I've never done use hounds the way you're going to use it here. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, I mean the the, the the hound will turn into a good cleanup. Pups are very effective in cleanup. So. Yeah, and I'm buying. I'm buying that because it's away from the wizard tower. Yeah. That part. Of okay, so what are you taking in your CC? Hound or a golem? Go golem, yeah. Golem. Yep. yeah. Always a golem. Yeah. Okay. What I've seen done most successfully is wherever that last golem down, the fresh golem that walks in is the max golem. Yep. yep. Always a golem. Always. Yeah. <laughs> I, don't I don't care if you're doing all air. It's, it's a golem. golem. <laughs> <laughs> all right, well, looks good. I'm ready to see it. Don't touch that, Larry. Touch it, Larry. You know you want to. Larry, don't touch Larry, that. Larry, do it. Do it, Larry. Larry! Yes! Welcome to the first day of the rest of your life, Larry. What'd I Good just job, say, Larry? Larry? Good job.